Hey guys, welcome back to our mini series around burp extensions. And today's extension I want to show you is something called the Paraminer. And it's a very, very useful extension. So you can head over to Extensions App Store and then look up Paraminer. You get a little description what it does and things like that. But it's super, super useful to find, for example, headers which you do not obviously see in your requests, right? So very often there is like headers which the system processes, but it's, they're not visible in your requests. The same goes for parameters. I mean, um, it, it, it talks here specifically about web cache poisoning vulnerabilities, which is true, right? But I also use it for like, uh, websites where you don't have a cache, right? Like where I'm, I simply want to find parameters like hidden parameters or experimental parameters, which are unlinked, which are not visible in my in my regular burp requests, but they may lead to an open redirect or something like that, right? So I find it extremely useful to actually um, find parameters which are not visible from, from your request. So you install it basically, and then the, the use is super, super easy. Like you simply take your request, right? Like for example, you take the, the get request and now I want to know like, if, are there any hidden parameters? So I don't see any here, right? Like I see my get request that to, to the host and, and my user agent and stuff like that. But then I can do it once you have it installed, you do a right click, you go to extensions, you go to Paraminer, <clears throat> and then you have various different options here. Like for example, the, the, these ones are like the, the, these requests like header poison, port DOS, Anki parameters, fat get and stuff like that. They're, they're all pretty much related to web cache poisoning. Um, and they're useful, but I use the top option basically. So you have like three options, guess get parameters. So this, those are like, for example, if there would be a get and then user ID or something, which like a parameter user ID, which I don't see right now, um, that would probably find that. Uh, same uh, cookie parameters. I can also brute force for cookie parameters for headers or for everything. Be careful with the everything because that can take a significant amount of time. So for example, when it comes to web cache poisoning, I'm usually interested in headers um, and then I would simply click get headers or I would like on a, on a regular website without a cache there I would use the show uh, the guess get parameters I mean this is this is up to you how, how you use it right but um, I have done done this already uh, I'm not doing redoing this in the interest of time so if you head over to extensions and then you go to your paraminer here in the burp extensions and you go to output and in the output it will then actually show you what it found so far so it sometimes depending on the application it can take quite a while but in this case it found like hey there's an additional header supported which is called x dash forwarded dash scheme right so this is super useful information for a security researcher and the same goes for parameters and things like that so i, I highly recommend using this it's free once again so um, it has a low system impact um, on on burp and on your end, but uh, it helps you identifying more functionality of the application. I hope this makes sense and I see you in the next video.